So the Oda, I believe, have been effectively wiped from the face of this earth, and they have done so with style. So that's how you gotta end the Oda. If you're gonna end anyone, you gotta end the Oda like that. Oh man. A path of discipline. So not worth it. One man remaining. How how do you have one man remaining? That you already <laughs> Oh goodness. I'm sure uh I'm sure Akechi probably got away from that one and he is gone to live another day. Or maybe his friend the flag bearer retreated as soon as he saw the encircling movement that was going on. Ooh, we actually have a Yari Drill Yard here. So, instead of waiting uh, seven turns, uh, yeah, instead of waiting seven turns for these guys to be, uh, what's it called, retrained, we're just going to disband them and train a new one. We've actually got some good income coming in. That is nice. I like that income. They've got improved irrigation roads and a harbor, which is good. And we're training troops here. And... Have we encountered any new clans? Um, we can now trade with the Kitabatake. If they will trade with us, they will. So let's go ahead and do so. That'll give us some uh, some uh, line of sight on them. We'll be able to check out be able to check out their capital, Issei, over here. They're actually at war with the Hattori, who are right here, who have this uh, this little ninja mountain fortress. Yeah, there's there's monk mountain fortresses and there's ninja mountain fortresses. It's a bit it's a bit confusing sometimes, but yeah, we want to get Iga. If the Hattori get destroyed, we will definitely take Iga. If not, we're going to be friends with the Hattori, because the Hattori are nice to us. And uh, everyone hates the Hattori, sadly. This Matsuke, he's increasing in rank. Finance is looking good. Oh, man, I forgot that Mikawa was... They're upset, but they'll be good once the garrisons get there. Um, we won't have to take them off of taxes, or the computer shouldn't, at least. It should know that... But they'll be just fine. All right, we're studying Zen. We got Todofuken, which is nice. So we want to get post roads and stations, because that will help our replenishment, and it will help our movement speed quite a good bit. Post roads and stations are invaluable, in my opinion. We've got some troops trained up in Mikawa, and we're training our Yari Samurai over here, so that's good. We've got our post roads and stations going up. Uh, we've actually just spent all of our money on post roads and stations, so not a whole lot we can do from there. Mikawa, ooh, we want to go over to Owari, actually. Owari will... It would be better if we oversee Owari as far as uh, as far as far taxes are concerned, simply because... What's our administration cost? What is that? I think... I don't remember exactly what administration cost is. I think that has to do with the post roads and stations being built. But our character has effectively eliminated those costs, so we should be getting more money from there. Our income should hop up. Yeah, like... 40 Koku. Oh, the Hattori have actually destroyed the Kitabatake. So, oh, that was pretty mean. Yeah, you can see we trained Yari Samurai, so we get a little video for him. Trade disrupted. They've disrupted our trade. That is not nice, guys. I, I'm not sure I agree with that. Let's see, we got our Yari Samurai construction complete. We know that. Clan encountered the Hattori, and the Kitabatake are dead. Uh, they're indifferent towards us. They're actually allied with the Shogunate, which could be quite helpful. They have some enemies, though. They have three provinces, and they're quite strong. So we're just going to want to trade with them for now. We're going to build up some good relations so they decide, hey, you know, those Tokugawa guys to the south, they're all right. Let's not go kill them. But we have the Imagawa down here. I believe they've actually, have they taken? No, they have not taken any Hojo provinces, which is good for us. Because we don't want them to get too much power. He did Naga. He's actually got some experience from being second in command in battles. And we want to do some fighting, so let's go do some fighting. Let's get some troops trained up in Awari. Minus two, resistance to invaders. Pfft. Why you have to resist? You should not resist. I am all powerful, and I will destroy you. So, because we've increased this city, we're going to build a stable. That'll allow us light cav, and light cav can be quite good for killing generals and the, the sort. What about the Saito? The Saito are actually friendly with us. They're at war with the Takeda though. The Takeda are over here. I believe the Kiso should be at war with the Takeda. So let's go south and let's go take out these Takeda boys. Oh, we don't want to declare war. We want to get some. We want to get some uh, some diplomacy going, and we want to get military access. Let us hope that today ends well. Yeah, they'll allow military access back and forth, so indefinitely we can go into their lands and they can come into ours, and this will allow us to get into Kai and North Shinano, hopefully. We want to get into Kai so we can get a foothold against the Takeda. I know it said we're supposed to take... Oh, jeez. 
Actually, we might not need that military access because the Takeda just took out the Kiso. Trade disrupted with the Kiso, sadly. Uh, we've encountered the Takeda, blah, blah, blah. Warriors recruited, and that's that. Damn, that is not good. That is not the good. The Takeda are growing in power. We need to be careful of them. So, easiest way to get to South Shinano. Oh, we can actually go right through. I believe we can go straight through Mino. So, um, unlike what I just said, we're gonna say forget the forget the Saito. They're uh they're gonna die. We're gonna pull up right over here, and we're gonna go get the Saito. We're gonna take them out, and that'll give us that'll give us some income. Plus, it'll give us a route to attack the Takeda. Working on Zen right now. Zen's gonna be good. That'll help our happiness. And Mikawa is currently they're currently upset. Why are they upset? Um, oh, the taxes have gone up again. But mastery of the arts in one turn will help with that. And let's see, that will not. Ooh, Tokugawa mounted gunners. Ooh, now you guys are in for a surprise. I forgot that we had mounted gunners. Mounted gunners. We need a gunsmith and a stable. So actually. Oh, we need gunpowder mastery before we can get mounted gunners. <sighs> That's going to be a long time, guys. So sadly, it might be a little while before we get mounted gunners. They have actually offered us a trade agreement, which is good because I forgot about theirs. They're allied with the Imagawa, though. Ooh, that's tough. That's actually tough. I might have to attack the Hattori instead because the Hattori will offer us a direct route to Kyoto. And, well... Uh, we could do we could do this one of two ways. We're studying school of shinobi now though, which is good, and we want that. Our Matsuke has increased in rank, which is also good. We want him to be good at overseeing settlements, stuff like that. Shogi set overseeing armies. Yeah, we'll do that. We can actually make him good at overseeing armies. Um, now we'll make him a magistrate for now, so he'll be much better at overseeing Owari, and he'll help with the taxes greatly. Yeah, see there now he's. 20% to the uh, to the tax the increase of the tax rate which is extremely helpful. We want to get what do we want to get going? Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> Tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to destroy this market and I'm going to destroy the Hiari drill yard and I'm going to switch the buildings up. And then we will get We could actually build a fortress here. A fortress would be somewhat helpful, but I'm going to hold off on that for now. I don't care about the garrison unit. I want to see what's going on with taxes. All right, everyone's exempt, or everyone is being taxed. Got our Boashigaru Yorimichi has been born. I'm not sure who that is really. Um. Yeah, Mino is weak. So, a provincial capital belonging to another can clan. You cannot attack this clan as they are not an enemy of your parent clan. Ooh, that's no good. So we actually can't attack the Saito. We have to take out the Imagawa. Oh, that's sad. That's very sad because the Imagawa have been good parents to us. But now that we have uh, destroyed the Oda, we have nothing left to do but take out the the Imagawa. Ah, oh, that's unfortunate. That is very unfortunate. We're gonna have to leave a garrisoning force for that bridge. That way, the Takeda don't destroy us. The Saito have been disrupted. Clan destroyed. Uh, post roads and stations and a stables. And then we wanted that Yari Drill Yard here, along with the market over here. Um, and we've got a buttload of money, luckily. So, I'm going to pull this army out. They're going to be upset. Minus one, that'll be resolved in one turn. And I'm going to train some more troops here. Um, I'm going to pull this army down towards the Imagawa, because that's going to be our assaulting force. And I want these guys right here at the bridge to head off any advance that might be made against us. We will also... Hmm, yeah, we would need a gunsmith, which sucks, man. Oh, that's annoying. We're gonna help, we're gonna garrison with those four troops, and we'll get some light cav. Yeah, we'll get some light cav going. Light cav there, and then train some, some more garrisoning troops here. And we will get a Warhorse Stable, because that will allow us Yari Cavalry, which is what I'm going to be going for next. Um, maybe some Katana Cav and such later. I mean, I'll, next time I upgrade it, I'll probably get a Sword Dojo or something like that. I might hold off, because there's a Sword Dojo down to the south. Or there's a, there's a workshop type thing 
building that you can either increase your armor or you can increase your melee attack. So I'm going to want to get that from the Imagawa once we uh, once we turn on our parent clan, which is actually about to happen right now. So we've got a decent garrisoning force at the river here. Really not going to be enough to stop the Takeda, however. Uh, we're going to send Hidenaga up here. We're also going to have him recruit some light cab and we're gonna pull um, we're gonna pull the dudes from here whoever gets trained next turn so the the bow and the Yari Ashigaru from that settlement we're going to uh, we're going to attack them all right the Takeda owing to recent treaties and the Takeda are going to turn against us now here's the first here's the first settlement and we're going to kill them so we've got Tatomi that is one of our uh, one of our five one of our five provinces that we want. They have, there's nothing special, no special buildings here in Totomi. We're going to upgrade our general again. We want to increase the way, or the rate at which we master the Bushido arts. And let's see. 15% to the increase in his influence radius, plus 10% more to campaign movement range. We've got a bow dojo here. Um, what else can we build? What else can we build? We could build. Eh, we could build a stable, so we'll be able to get bow cab there eventually, plus some post roads and stations. And sadly, now the Takeda are going to be coming for us, which is not good. It's not good news at all. But hopefully they'll wait off a turn. If they hold off one turn, I should be able to send reinforcements, and they have not. Takeda Shingen has assaulted us, followed by Takeda Nobushige, who's his brother. They got light cab, they got some, what, four Yari Ashigaru, a Yari Samurai, and three the Rebo Ashigaru, so they outnumber us nearly two to one, but if we can kill their general, if we can get them to cross the bridge where we want them to cross, we should be able to kill their general at least, which, I mean, that's really all I'm going to be going for. I'm not going to be able to do much else, so this is more of a holding action, and hopefully we can cripple them enough to demoralize them. I'm going to have to start my Yari Ashigaru in separate places. They might split up and cross in two different places, which could be disadvantageous for us. Um, simply because uh, we're going to get encircled. We have two melee units and two missile units. If we had four Yari Ashigaru, I would say we had a better chance, but we do not. So, um, we're going to keep our bows in the middle. We're going to put them back in loose formation. We're going to keep them in the middle. Come on. And then we're just going to have one Yari Ashigaru here and one here. So let's see. We're going to bring this guy up right here. We're going to bring this guy up right here. Yeah, this little cliff is messing with our movement. We're going to bring this guy up right over here. Hopefully this does not entice them to cross at that location, and we're going to bring this guy right here. Uh, let's fast forward a little bit. Our frame rate will probably drop. Yeah, we're getting a huge frame rate drop, but it'll pick back up in just a second. Alright, it doesn't look like they're going to assault in two different locations, so we're actually going to pull up a little bit more. doesn't look like they're going to cross over to our left. If they do, I can always respond, but... For now, I will hold this position. I will set a spear wall with these troops. And we'll move our bows a little bit. We'll, uh, we'll edit our, our positioning just a tiny little bit. Yep, there we go. Um, yeah, I'm going to leave these bows for now. Hopefully we'll, we'll be able to start firing at his bows. I'm going to pull my Yari Ashigaru back a little bit. Just don't want to get them killed. No, no, we want we want you up here. Why are you moving? Why are you... Oh, okay, they're going to be shooting at our Yari Ashigaru. They're going to be sending one of their own. So we're going to have to take some losses here, unfortunately, but um, that's, that's really the only way that we can stop this from happening. We're going to shoot at their Yari Samurai. So I'm going to pull my bows up right here just so we can shoot at their Yari Samurai. Yeah, we're going to take casualties because my guys are tightly grouped. And uh, they're not really resistant to arrow fire, but hopefully we'll be able to route this unit of Yari Ashigaru. And these bows are getting fired upon by their bows. They're, yeah, they're going to pull their bows back, and they're sending their light cavalry across. So 
I want to bring my other Yari Ishigaru up. And I want to be shooting at their Yari Samurai. Um, just to help kill them. They're going to bring their bows up. I'm not sure what they're doing with their bows. These light cav are going to get cut down by my, uh, by my Yari Ishigaru. Again, my frames are getting destroyed when I zoom in, so I might lower my settings, actually. And I'm going to put my second rank into spear wall so as to stop any light cab that might be busting through this first line. I'm going to shoot at those bow Ashigaru. Oh, they got a Yari Ashigaru going around my left, uh, which could prove fatal and most likely will be the fatal blow. Hopefully they rush in Shingen so I can kill him. He's just rallied his troops though, so these guys will hold on. No, these guys won't. Neither will the light cab. They will actually probably route eventually. But sadly, it looks like they might be getting around me. Um, and there's not a whole lot I can do about that. I can pull my bows over to, uh, to shoot him while my other bows hold in place. I'm going to put these guys in defensive and tight formation. And I'm going to put these guys in defensive and tight formation. Also, I believe loose formation kills your accuracy. It doesn't, it doesn't do wonders for your accuracy, let's just say that. These Yari Ashigaru are still holding on, I'm not sure how. That's just ridiculous. We're gonna move our spear wall up a little bit. Uh, Nobushige is rushing across, and if Shingen comes across, he'll get through his troops and he will hopefully be cut down. I'm gonna pull my bows. I'm actually gonna try to outflank this, this Yari Ashigaru. It's taken... It's taken 40 casualties so far. So we'll see how it fares. Encourage general nearby. That is my general's unit. The light cab's getting killed. Let's see. Shingen is still there, I believe. Yeah. Nobushige is still there as well. Uh, we don't want my bows to route. We really don't want them to route. My bows can just hold on. That would be great. Getting around behind these guys, and hopefully, we can cause them some casualties so that they route. These guys can hold on longer. Alright, so our bow's routed. These Yari Ashigaru will route, uh, without a doubt. They, they, I mean, they will. But, for now, we just want them to get as many kills as possible, so... If we could kill Nobushige, that would be a plus, but it's extremely unlikely, and it's just not gonna happen. Unless we route this Yari Ashigaru immediately, and get over here to support my own Yari Ashigaru. So, yeah, these guys are wavering because they shit morale. <laughs> Excuse my French. <laughs> but, um, yeah, sadly, I think my Yari are about to break. 83 kills isn't bad, neither is 79 for a bow unit, but yeah. That's gonna do it. That's gonna do it for my army. This proved to be fatal, as I didn't have support of my bows over on, on my, uh, on my right flank. But, uh, we did alright. We caused them some casualties. We beat them up a little bit, so if I can respond with with my, uh, with Hiro Tata, then we should be, we should be able to drive back to Takeda, but, uh, then again, we gotta worry about the Imagawa to our south, so, we'll see, we'll see, I believe I'm rushing up my, uh, my adopted son to, to fight them, we actually, okay, so some of those troops survived that battle, they're gonna go back to Owari, Owari is going to be besieged, however, but we get a fresh new, uh, Yoyashigaru garrison, I believe that is, and, Oh no, that's just the unit I had sitting there. And then we've got our two bows. I, not, I can't combine them, which sucks. Uh, but they actually don't have a significant melee force. They do have some good bows, but they don't have a lot of melee troops. I mean, the 19, the 61, and the 63 will route extremely quickly under bow fire. So, yeah, we got to get ready to fend off the attack of the Takeda at Owari. Hopefully we can do that. It's the Battle of Inazawa again. It should be the Battle of Owari or something like that, but... Oh, who knows why? Who knows? Pro it's, it's probably something to do with provincial something or other. Mumbo jumbo that I just don't understand. I just don't. So we're getting into it. Come on. Load. Load. Please. Come on. Takes forever. Swear. Usually my load times are pretty good. I don't know. Computer's just being a bit weird today. I feel like that doesn't happen, but it's probably Fraps. It probably is Fraps. With my luck, Fraps is just like, oh, you're recording? Yeah, uh, screw you. I mean, I know it's I know it's not good for your frame rate to be recording. I know it sa it saps your, your, your frame rate quite badly, but not usually this badly. 
Alright, so we're going to look over. we got Boashigaru over here. Boashigaru, Boashigaru. So that's all their bows. So I want to stay away from them. They've got Yari Samurai and their general over here. Um, they have one Yari Ashigaru. So they've got two Yari Ashigaru here. A Yari there. What the heck happened to that 13 man Yari Ashigaru? Oh, there it is. Or that 19 man. Okay, so I want to get some bows over. I want to get one unit of bows over here. And I want to get one unit of bows. I'm going to have to put them right here. I'm not going to be able to use my bows super effectively, actually, because they came they came with uh, with bow support for their infantry, which sucks. They're actually not even going to move these troops up, which also sucks, so I'm going to need to just get both my bows firing over here and kill as many of their men as possible, I suppose. I'm getting into the walls right now, luckily. Their bows are firing already. My guys are also firing. I'm going to put my guys in defensive mode. I just want to try to get as many kills as possible, really. Uh, they're not going to move up their generals or the Hiari Samurai for a while. These guys are going up slowly, and I'm going to try to shoot at that Yari Ashigaru, because that's my main target. I want to keep their melee troops out of my castle. As long as I can do that, I can, I can survive their bows, but I cannot survive their melee troops entirely. I can't survive both. If I kill one, I can survive the other. I guess you could say it like that. These guys are getting cut down as they come forward. Hopefully they should break before they get too far over the wall. Um, yeah, their morale is their morale is shaken. If they start wavering, then they should start to rout. I'm not getting I'm not getting consistent volleys off. It's really more of a fire at will looking situation, which is not necessarily good. Okay, so I'm gonna pull my guys back and I wanna bring up my samurai, samurai retainers, because these guys will cut down the Yari Ashigaru immediately. We'll, uh, we'll put our bows right here. Maybe they'll get some shots off once these guys get over the wall. Kill them a little bit more. <sighs> I wish I had routed those guys. Routing them would have helped, because then I wouldn't have had to worry about melee interaction at all. So here come the samurai retainers. The noblest of Awari samurai retainers. Yeah. Yeah, these guys will route. These guys will route immediately. And then I want to bring up my bows over here. Yep. Alright, so I shattered those guys. I didn't lose any samurai retainers, which is good. I'm gonna lose a few to this bow fire. Unfortunately, this guy may die. Oh, no, he didn't. Sweet. Awesome. Oh, nope. We lost three to bow fire, sadly. But we want to get these guys back on the wall and firing. I'm gonna start firing at this unit, this largest unit. Cut it down as much as possible. Um. Oh, jeez. That was actually my timer for recording, so once this battle is over, I'm going to finish up recording, and then we will see where we stand. Yeah, we'll see where we stand once this battle is over, and then that'll be it for this recording. Probably split this up into two separate videos. Um, we'll see how the time works out. One will probably be longer than the other, but yeah, that's just how it's going to go. I want... Let's see. I want these two units right here. Um... I probably have my samurai retainers to support. Bring my bows my over Lord. here. We'll bring my Yari Ashigaru up. I've got a Yari Samurai, so... Oh jeez, I'm getting shot up. Damn, I totally missed that. I totally missed that. That sucks. I was losing some uh, unnecessary casualties right there. I'm gonna put these guys... I can't put these guys in the spear wall, so I just need to go in. I need to get in there, and we hopefully... Hopefully we can route these guys as fast as possible. I'm going to bring these Yari Ash over here, and I want to start firing at these bows. Kill as many of them as possible. It's extremely unlikely that I'll win this battle. Oh, nope, their Yari Samurai are coming over the wall. So we want to go We want to go meet these guys. We want to meet them and hopefully kill them. Uh, let's get into Spear Wall. Get into Spear Wall to meet these Yari Samurai. Hopefully we can beat them like that. A lot of these guys should route. This 130 unit is actually routing almost immediately. The 19 has broke. Um, I'm going to pull these Yari Ash back to support against the Yari Samurai, simply because I believe that my Samurai Retainers can defeat theirs. Um, this unit should route. They really should route and extremely soon. They're taking casualties. This unit will route a lot quicker, and then once once one of them routes, the other one will almost surely break. I want to get around the side here. I want to do some flanking. 
just give them more to be concerned about because they are concerned. Um, yeah, they're concerned because their friends are routing, so they've lost. They've lost two units, so I'm gonna bring my own units over. I'm gonna bring these guys over, and then I want to get around them. Yeah, I want to attack them in the in the flank. That way they suffer that penalty. And I will bring in these guys to support in the center along with these guys. They're going to start bringing their general's units forward, I'm sure. One of our units has used all its okay, so both my bows are out of ammo, which is good. Actually, it's not bad. Um, I'm going to actually try to keep them away from arrow fire for the time being. These Yari Samurai should route soon. Um, damn, my Samurai Retainers are extremely helpful. They're doing work. They're doing some excellent work right now. Alright, I routed their Yari Samurai, which is good. Got some melee troops left. Possibly enough to fend off their bows if their bows decide indeed they do want to climb the walls. I don't believe these bows can fire anymore, so they're going to come up and climb the walls, which means I want to bring my bows up to the walls to stop them, hopefully. Are they firing? No, they're still firing. Whoops. I want to bring my guys back then. I want to bring them right back. They're just gonna shoot me out. That's really all they're gonna do. Oh, that sucks. That really sucks. Unless they come up and over the wall. Unless they're out of ammo. Which, I mean, my guys are out of ammo. I don't see how these guys aren't out of ammo. Let's get outside the castle. It's stupid, but we might have to. Actually, we'll send out we'll send our, our bows out. these guys I mean uh, that's their advantage to have really their uh, their numbers are they coming up no they're firing no maybe they're gonna climb yeah they're gonna climb oh wow so my bows are gonna bite it sadly not much I can do about that now really I just want to get around and take them out as fast as possible bring one unit over here we'll bring these two guys up here and we'll bring this unit in reserve Yeah, we're gonna send them in. We're gonna send them in against the bows. My bows are gonna bite it. Unfortunately, they're gonna bite it. Yeah, I should have kept them in the keep, but it forced them over, which is a situation where their bows are not gonna perform well. So, yeah, I'm cutting their bows down. My guys are gonna die. I don't have enough men to hold them, but I really wanted to kill as many of their bows as possible and. That's really what I'm doing. I'm cutting them down. I mean, their bows have plenty of kills from firing at me, but um, they won't be able to perform as strongly in a melee fight, clearly, because they have, you know, five melee attack, three melee defense, so you gotta be careful with that. Alright, um, let's see, my, my retainers are dying. Everyone's dying. They're all, they're all fighting to the death, so I think that kills their melee stats, sadly. Um, yeah, yeah, we lost one unit of Yari Ashigaru. These samurai, we'll keep an eye on them as they fight to the last man. Boom! Cut his stomach open. <laughs> That's great. Uh, oh, man. Some of the kill animations. Oh, that guy just got taken out. What a noob. Here's my, uh, here's my leading samurai retainer, the head of all my nobles, and he just got cut, sadly. The last of our samurai retainers. The last of the samurai defending this province, sadly. Oh man, he just got him right through the face. Oh, decapitated. That is gruesome. That is disgusting. Oh man. Let's see how many guys this guy can take out. He's got two, or he's got one so far. Come on. Come on. Kill him. Kill him. Get him. Get him. He'll get killed eventually, but, you know. Oh, he kicked that guy. He's like, get back. Get back, get back, y'all know me like that. Get back! 
Oh, jeez. We lost that fight. He should have done better. Anyways, oh, we managed to cripple the Takeda pretty badly, actually. So I think we got some good kills there. It was a costly enemy victory, which... Uh-oh, I mean, it's it's pretty it's pretty intuitive right there. Costly enemy victory. They uh, they lost some troops. They lost all their melee troops, actually. We'll see how many we actually killed, but... They shouldn't be able to move too much further into my lands, especially not with my general or my adopted son coming up to support. Um, we're going to call it there, though. We'll, we'll do a little quick overview. Yeah, we took out, took out 545 men. They got 268 left. That was... That was extremely good. More, I mean, if you, any time you kill more troops than you have in a siege battle, see, it was a valiant defeat. I mean, you've done pretty well. Their, their army is pretty crippled. Heck, if it wasn't their general, or if it wasn't their daimyo, I could probably, you know, besiege them or, or bribe them. Yeah, not besiege them. No, I don't have an army there. Anyways, province lost. Owari, sadly. Army crushed. I don't know if it was crushed. It was valiant. Uh, trade disrupted with a, t a Tory because we were trading from Owari. Uh, we'll check our construction. We just got our Yari drill yard, and we've got troops trained in Mikawa. So we're going to bring them up here. And we might actually... We could... Uh, actually, I don't know if we could take uh, take Awari back, but we won't be in too much trouble as far as, uh, as far as getting attacked is concerned. Once we get our light cab, we'll be able to kill them quite easily. We'll train some garrisoning troops in Totomi. They'll be a bit upset at first, but no, they're actually uh, they're content, so that's pretty good. We might be able to make it to Saruga, but we will leave that for the next video. Like I said, hope you guys have enjoyed. This will probably turn out to be two videos in any way, so possibly this will we'll take Saruga in the third video, the next one whenever you're watching this. Um, yeah, like I said, I hope you've enjoyed. Like and comment if you have... Uh, leave it a like if you liked it. If you want to see more of this, or if you have any ideas about it, if you want to see me do something in particular in this campaign, comment down in the comment section. Subscribe to keep up with all the videos. You guys all know how YouTube works. Uh, you've just been playing with Papa Bear, and I hope you all have a lovely day. Take care, guys.